So here we got to remember that uh, getting the result when you use the mean and a standard deviation, if we're out more than uh, two standard deviations, or if we have a probability, probability if the probability of some event is less than 5% or 0 0.05, then we can say it's very unusual. So what I did for this problem is I set up a binomial, I knew it was a binomial distribution, 10 question, multiple choice, so uh, 0.5 is the probability of guessing right, it, they're independent, 10 questions, um, one question's independent of the next, I think we've got a binomial distribution, so there's five possible answers, so the probability of guessing correctly on any one, one question is one-fifth or 0.2, and that's why I put the probability of a success in a single trial is 0.2. Um, if it's a different number of questions, it'd be 1 over whatever the number of questions that there are. And then there's 10 trials because there's 10 tests. And I want to know um, I want to know how many questions would it be unusual to guess correct or just blind guessing would it be how high, how well could I do just by blind guessing? When would it be unusual that maybe either I'm a good guesser or that I might know a little bit more than just guessing? So what I did is I, for this number here, I tried, I tried three, four, actually I tried more than that at first, but what I settled down is was that four was too high. So I was looking at, I was, I was looking at five or more. So I was down here because that's what they're, they're telling me. They're telling me to um, blank or more questions. So I want to look at that row right there. And I want that row to be less than 5%. 4 was too big and 5 was just right. So 5 or more questions by blind guessing would be then an unusual event.